This is a practical prayer for a loving and harmonious family relationship. Before we dive into the practical prayer, I'd like to give you a little bit of the background on the story that's going on here. The prayer is for Erica. She and her family, her husband and her kids, um, are really, really doing well. Um, and she has a great relationship with her parents. And uh, she's, she's actually worked through a lot of issues with addictions and mental health and all sorts of challenges. And she's really, really doing well has a great relationship with her younger sister and her kids as well. And the problem is with her older sister. Older sister has a bunch of issues that haven't really been dealt with, and um, it becomes very uncomfortable when they all get together. Erica constantly finds herself being attacked and being belittled, and it's, it's just an uncomfortable situation uh, when she gets around her older sister. The complicating factor in this is that the older sister and her kids live with mom and dad, so it's become very difficult for Erica to have a relationship with the rest of the family because she's getting to the point where she has to arrange visits for when the older sister is not going to be around just so that she doesn't get into that conflict. Now, it's really good that she's got some clear boundaries and she's not letting herself be abused, but the love and the connection that they'd all like to have in their family just isn't there situation has gotten to the point where the parents are ready to sell their house so that they can move in with the younger sister just to, to get a change in the situation. Having to take those drastic measures is, is uncomfortable and tears at, the, at, at the, the, the core of the family. So if you've ever been in a situation like this, then when I speak this practical prayer, I invite you to take the words also for yourself. I'll include everybody who's listening and watching the video. The practical prayer will be in seven steps. So as you're comfortable, I invite you to close your eyes or go into a soft focus so we can turn away from the circumstances, the situation, the stuff that's going on in the world around us and turn our attention to the truth, the truth that there is only love. In spite of appearances, there is only love. Everything, everywhere is the divine creative power in the universe expressing itself in a new and different way. And all of the seemingly separate pieces, which are part of the one, are re-enfolding and reconnecting and rubbing up against one another. And that's how new situations and new circumstances are born. So I know that I am this love, and I know that Erica is this love. And so are her parents and her kids and her spouse and her sisters and everybody. Everybody involved in the situation, including everybody who's listening to the sound of my voice now, is an expression of God's infinite love, right here, right now, and always. That love is pouring itself forth through and in and as each one involved in this circumstance or story. So because I know that at the heart and the core, there is only this love, I claim it. I claim that love is unfolding in a way that is harmonious and pleasant and joyous and fulfilling to bring this family back into the harmony and alignment, which is the gift that's the love that they are. There is absolutely no need for the, the discord and for the distrust or for the possibilities of abuse or defending each other against and amongst family members. Any idea that that is necessary is dissolved into the truth that there is only love. Those shadows, those dark corners, those areas where something uncomfortable has been going on are simply shadows that are blocking the light. So somehow, in a manner that we really don't need to address right now, somehow the infinite creative power that has created everything is creating a new and harmonious and loving family circumstance and relationships now. This love unfolds in a way that in hindsight is completely understandable, but perhaps impossible to predict at this point. I claim the love. I claim the joy. I claim the peace, and I claim the positive, happy, joyous family interactions for Erica and for every member of her family and all those who are drawn to their orbit. This is love unfolding, and I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for the good that's unfolding. I'm grateful for the love that's expressing. I'm grateful for the peace and the harmony and the growth that's expressing itself through each one of these people individually and through all of them as a family group. So with this feeling of gratitude, I release this word into the law, and I know, without question, doubt, or hesitation, that this is so. I let it be. I know it's so. And so it is. 
Amen. I'm Reverend Bill Marcioni. There's more information on the website at bethelight.com and in my book, Practical Prayer for Real Results. If you have a specific prayer request, please contact me through the website. I look forward to praying with you.